about the Mahdi is he living in Pakistan? Is he coming from a rich family? What influences is he in? Um, uh, is he gonna fight a war that all the men are going to die? Um, and only him will survive? A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Bismillah Rahman Rahim uh, okay, so this uh, lady uh, named uh, Deborah Zara from uh, Aruba Islands has asked this question uh, about uh, the Mahdi. <clears throat> that uh, is Mahdi uh, from Pakistan? Uh, is Mahdi uh, from a rich family? Uh, is he an influential person or a normal person? And uh, will he have some powers? Or she even asked uh, if uh, the Mahdi will be God, Naudu Billah, or like uh, specific questions that uh, Christians believe we do understand from their growing up, uh, they are being taught that Jesus is God. We don't believe that uh, we, we seek Allah's refuge uh, from these concepts, but they believe in Trinity. Um, so, so that's why uh, they, 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 they ask such questions. So. Um, it's uh, it's good that they are reaching out and asking those questions to to clarify uh, their their uh, concepts. So Mahdi in Islam is a person who would be the the forerunner of Jesus of Isa salam who would descend from sky. It would be the second coming of Jesus or Isa salam. Uh, so Mahdi would be the one who would come before Jesus السلام, and he would rule the whole world and he will establish one world government, the Islamic world order. That Islamic world order would be different uh, from the current new world order we are all living in. That Islamic world order would not be financial, economic um, ties and all that fake economy and proxy governments and uh, all those um, uh, capitalistic uh, way of uh, of abusing and ruling people uh, that wouldn't wouldn't be the case. It will be a peaceful world with the actual government uh, all over the world, and not through the proxies or sub governments or uh, or trying to run or rule the countries through the proxies. So uh, Mahdi would be that person. Mahdi will not be a God. No person is a God. Jesus is not the God. Jesus is not the Son of God. Uh, Mary, uh, the mother of Jesus, السلام, uh, Maryam, السلام, we call her Maryam, السلام, uh, she is not God. There is only one God, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is from forever and he will be forever he has no beginning and he has no ending he he was not created and he was not born but he created everything and nobody was born to him but he created all these uh, creations all these uh, human beings the mankind the animal kind and all those genes and all those other material things that we know so Mahdi will not be a god, Mahdi will be a regular person and just like uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and just like uh, Prophet Isa, Jesus alayhi salam, they were born normal people but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the circumstances look so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala arranged everything around them to make them the prophets, to bring them to front and to present to people as the prophets and uh, like, like in the case of uh, uh, Solomon that you call, like Suleiman alayhi salam we call him, in the case of Moses, uh, Musa alayhi salam, in the case of uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all these were born normal people but they were raised to leadership. Similarly Mahdi will be born, as we know, as you know from our videos that we believe he has um, and he is in Pakistan, so born to a normal family, born to uh, born with normal circumstances, nobody expecting him to become a leader or rule the world, but eventually through some, not through miracles, uh, through the signaling, through uh, the special messages, through the special knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave 
uh, to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, gave to Prophet Moses alaihi salam, uh, gave to gave to gave to Prophet. Prophet David um, Dawood salam, and because of those important message and knowledge Mahdi will be recognized from within the masses from the crowd that oh this person stands out and he has a special message and that message cannot be uh, from anyone but from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then he would be brought forward and forced into leadership he won't want to become a leader so he, be, he will be forced to leadership and he will have Allah's mercy, Allah's blessings, and Allah's uh, like all of the powers uh, helping him to be to to become successful. So he will lead the world, rule the world, and 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 destroy all the enemies, the ones who will be fighting against him, not the peaceful ones. Uh, so he he will establish that one world government, uh, Islamic world order. About the people dying, yes, there will be a huge war that we know in Islam as Al Malhamatul Kubra, the biggest war ever. In other religions, it is known as uh, Armenia. Uh, it is known as in in pop culture in like normal modern modern literature is known as clash of civilizations that will be the huge war ever and from what I've understood and what I have uh, or like based on my research and study I believe it will be the World War 3 that is just around the corner so according to Islamic eschatology Islamic knowledge of the end of the times this war will be the one in which uh, every 999 would die out of every 1000 so only one person out of every 1000 would be left that war would be fought in middle east around the euphrates river and all of the world powers would be fighting with each other in that land because those lands belong to muslim the most people dying in those wars would be the muslims uh, muslims would be the oppressed ones in this war the, the civilians the women children everyone would be killed by no known Muslims, the fighting powers, so-called superpowers of the world, and NATO, uh, the, 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 this, this, uh, Russia and United States, uh, they would be fighting all uh, with each other, against each other in the lands of the Muslims. So Muslims would be oppressed and killed on, in all those wars. Obviously, their, uh, their soldiers and, uh, and their, their destruction, like by fought, fighting, there would be uh, losses on both sides but the most losses would be uh, of Muslims. It will be like a huge war and Muslims would lose most of their territory. Only one Muslim country, uh, that is Pakistan, would be left. And that we know Pakistan has a good army, uh, it has nukes and uh, Pakistan is known to have very good intelligence. It's not doing very good financially, otherwise the people of Pakistan are known to be very brave. Uh, and, and it is uh, an established fact, uh, you can read it online, that least racist society all over the world are the Pakistanis. They hardly ever complain about um, other sects. They, uh, they, they don't fight or bully uh, other, uh, other religions even. And they are very friendly and, and, and like, like, uh, like a punch, uh, like when they are together, they, they've, they've like a fist. They are very strong uh, when it comes to interpersonal, uh, interpersonal relationships and they are very strong when it comes to family uh, relationships. So, so Pakistan would be the only nation left. Uh, probably some uh, nations of the East like Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei, um, Bangladesh, they would also be supporting Pakistan. Then Mahdi will rise from Pakistan and Allah we believe and it is uh, from, uh, from the divine messages that the Mahdi would be given not the special powers like the Jesus salam, had, not the special powers like David salam, had, not the special powers like Solomon Suleiman salam, had. He would have miraculous power in terms of how to run a government, miraculous support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he will be given a uh, very powerful technology and, and, and the person we are talking about uh, that we believe will be Imam al-Mahdi, his name is Muhammad Qasim from Pakistan, 
he is being given all those signals in through through the dreams through divine dreams he has seen in his dreams that he will be given black colored jet fighters the jet fighters the world has never seen before unmatched like they would be so powerful that's totally unmatched and those black jet fighters like they would be 3000 in number and there were two seaters like with two people that can seat in two two pilots and they they would leave they would they will need little or no fuel and it would it would be the state of the art highest um, climax of technology and then Imam al Mahdi with through all that powerful army and fighter jets and technological uh, advancement success then they will uh, rise from the east from Pakistan and then fight back against India that will uh, be attacking on Pakistan after all of the Middle East is sweeped Muslims are sweeped out from all of the Middle East now India would want to 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 uh, erase Pakistan as well uh, with the support of NATO Russia and USA the forces that those were fighting with each other in the Middle East once they are done looting and killing and like fractionally uh, winning the war they would come support India uh, to try to uh, erase Pakistan then those black jet fighters would appear and fight back India would be taken back that we know, know as the war of India or we know as Ghazwatul Hind uh, India would be taken over all of the India by Pakistan and then they would rise from there to take over the rest of the lost lands as well and when then it reaches this war reaches to this point then the NATO Russia United States whoever the powers fighting against Pakistan or the Muslims or the or the armies of Allah would be destroyed nothing would be left and and Muslims would take over the world that's how it goes and that's the basic information about Mahdi if you have any further questions feel free uh, to ask we do have our whatsapp number in the comments or in the description uh, do do watch out and ask your question if you have any jazakallah